The team have gone all out with their gift selection <laughs> for you. A feather duster. A feather duster. What is it? Look at that. I love that. Yeah, I brought you in a bit, oh. bit of vinyl. I know. I you'd like. Retro. Old school, as yeah. they say. But lovely to see years you've been out of recording studios. And only now, Martin, you've decided to make an album. Yes. Uh, right, one last look at the weather. Here's Laura. Well, thank you. So, quick update on our One Million Minutes campaign this morning. We have doubled the amount of... ...because earlier this week, House Democrats laid out their impeachment case against President Trump with a detailed report accusing him of betraying the nation. So, what happens next? Well, proceedings have to be started by the House of Representatives, where a vote to impeach only needs a simple majority to pass. And with the opposing Democratic Party holding a majority, most think that this is likely to happen. The process would then move to the Senate, where a trial would be held. But Democrats would need a two-thirds vote to remove the president. With Trump's Republican Party allies in charge there, that makes a conviction unlikely. Mr Trump's been playing the proceedings down on Twitter, calling impeachment the greatest con job in the history of American politics. But there is some evidence that the process is hurting him, because the latest poll shows half of Americans think he should be impeached and forced out, and that's slightly up from two months ago. It's causing huge joy that around the nation. That quite the leading the news this is that your morning. headline? It is not the main headline, no, quite fortunately. We're talking politics because we're taking a look at the top stories. The Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, wants to make it Lovely an advocate. She has amazing handwriting. Thank you very much. <laughs> look well, at that. happy, happy Christmas, Hans. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's so good of you. <laughs> you were one of our favorite. Everyone in the whole wide world. <laughs> yes. I absolutely love Harmony it. Rose, it's lovely to see you. And in John's case, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you were dancing on the train last night. night. You were dancing on the train last night. Excellent. Now, still ahead on Good Morning Britain. No keys <laughs> yeah. to lose. It's your sanity. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's get the news travel weather wherever you are. Really oh. Are they appreciating how hard we're having Andy to work? Andy says, welcome back, Kate. This morning, Boris Johnson will aim to deliver his election promise of getting Brexit decided by Chris City today. Very good morning to you. It is six o'clock with animals. Nick Dixon is outside Bride. It will be a police, uh, a peaceful protest. Do we know how this escalated? EU officials have to operate in the future. So how would this work? Judgments from two inquiries on whether Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, broke. Of course, uh, to go as well. All thought about it. Good morning. The White House has issued a fresh warning that Russia could attack Ukraine at any moment. Moscow's already built up more than 100,000 troops. On this situation has been described as extremely dangerous at any moment. Moscow's built up more than 100,000 troops on the border. The state... Noel Phillips is there. The Russian president, Vladimir Putin, would not have invaded Ukraine if he were a woman. That's take ahead of the NATO meeting later. To the tennis now, British number one, notorious return to Wimbledon after a year out, were dashed yesterday, weren't they? Yeah, it's just heartbreaking news, isn't it? Deborah's mum is among those. She probably feel like we've lost a shining star, doesn't it? There'll be one more. Good morning. Ambulance workers across England are set to strike before Christmas for the first time in 30 years after voting in favour of industrial action over pay and staffing levels. It follows a decision by up to 100,000 nurses from the Royal College of Nursing who are to stage a mass walkout during the festive period. Meanwhile, yeah, it's uh, also now the Prince and Princess of Wales are heading to the United States today. The couple are in Boston. Speak to our North America. And also this morning, farmers are warning of big shortages of turkeys this Christmas amid the bird flu crisis. Start so we may have to think a bit. Farmers are warning of big shortages of turkeys this Christmas amid the bird flu crisis. And talking Christmas, there's a lot of love for the Christmas choir this morning. Charlotte. Right, it's a great passion of my life. You try that awful, but it's like when the Chapel Brothers... I'd say is win at all costs. OK, tactics being used. 
Yes. Now, earlier this week, Morrison's announced they are cutting the price of more than a thousand products by an average of 19 per cent. Tesco, they've ditched their buy one, get one free offers in favour of price cuts elsewhere. And Asda have committed to spending 300 million pounds on price cuts before next month. But a new shop that's been started by Celius Hagiano, the founder of EasyJet, is taking them all on. He is charging just 25 pence for everything. Nick Dixon went along to size up the savings. And we've just had a little message at you, which is lovely. We should say congratulations to our production manager. I'll be having my little own little ray of sun. Well, Lord. you look blooming. <laughs> Long overdue. <laughs> it's 6.31, our menus this morning. 10,000 more police... What a fight that was. Anthony Joshua, take a bow. Hmm? I'm called absolutely whirlwinded. I mean, no, I it's worry not. about your health. It's an incredibly detailed account in a very highbrow, respected German newspaper. It's all complete and utter gossip. To stir with this idea that there is a formula for happiness. There is. Um, <laughs> predicted as yeah, badly as I've still miserable. on that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fascinating book, yeah. Soul for Happiness. Yeah, thanks so much. It's a formula for Arsenal fans. We would love to hear <laughs> it. This Competition to brother. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Laura. Thank you very much. We've got Thanks. our very old kids later on. <laughs> you rubbed uh, the hedgehog up the wrong way, that's what I'm saying. I've never rubbed a hedgehog up in any way. <laughs> no, it's 7.31. With Richard Maidley and Ranveer Singh. Rain, sort of 11 trillion or something like that. Listen, Charlotte's here to look at the absolutely a sort of unprecedented scale of the devastation, Charlotte. Yeah. People might have seen. <laughs> and before that, though, I would definitely need a drink before I got on a plane mm. just to calm down. <laughs> but yeah, I think that would be my worry about... Yeah, an right, isn't she? Until we actually... Back, you know. And of course, our very own Charlotte... Two familiar faces <laughs> at the end of the catwalk. At the end of it, we had to walk down this catwalk and then people... over your it's whole life, life yeah. and you step into this amazing... <laughs> It's 6.32, the headline. One in the religious studies. Having seen you do the weather, I, <laughs> that's probably... Grateful you're here, Alex, if you could stay. Yes, an update now on the top stories on Good Morning Britain. The US President Donald Trump has arrived in South Korea a short time ago. And saying... Trolls like... are having quite a civilised <laughs> conversation. It's an important debate. But I, I... With Piers Morgan and Suzanne. This is their first massive I'm album, I'm so it? excited that they're back as well, because New they've album. got such phenomenal music. So, uh, yeah. Apparently they're doing... Up and out no. instead of a 12-hour night is shift. Is that how it works? They don't... They just... Yes, give you an they just have to work an hour. So does that mean they have to work an hour less when it's... When, it's when it goes back. Forward?